From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Thursday's top stories. The Minnesota administration makes another major move in Grand Bahama aimed at salvaging the island's sagging economy. The government has now purchased the Grand Bahama Airport from the Hutchinson Wampoa Company. Purchase price is $1, plus the assumption of a portion of staff-related costs, which should not exceed $1 million. Now, Sturzer Minister Diagula making the big announcement in the House yesterday. He says they expect the deal to be final shortly, and the airport will be then turned over to the airport authority. Opposition members not impressed. This is the view of former Transport Minister, Angliston MP, Glennis Hannah Martin. You've allowed a foreign investor to take all the cream and leave us with the burden in this country. And I believe, and and I don't know, but I believe there's even more burden because you've not laid that heads of agreement in this parliament. We do not know what you have agreed further to further burden the Bahamian people. Anna Martin told the House the opposition wants to know what motivated Hutchinson and Wampoa to agree to sell that property. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Police have arrested and are questioning a man in connection with an incident reported on social media. It's alleged that the man exposed himself to a girl walking to school early yesterday morning here in the capital. Relatives of a nurse who died from an apparent heart attack earlier this week are denying that her death had anything to do with the coronavirus vaccine, as was reported on social media. They say nurse Marsha McQueen did not even take the vaccine as far as they know, so her death could not be connected to it, as was reported on the Bahamas Press website. Meantime, the vaccine rollout continues. More persons shaking the shot yesterday at various sites here in the capital and in Grand Bahama. The corona number showing another increase in hospitalizations. A concern for officials, there are now 31 persons being treated in hospital, one in the ICU. 18 new cases confirmed for Tuesday, spread out over four islands, 10 in the capital, 4 in Grand Bahama. The death toll remains at 188. Another positive economic signal for Grand Bahama, the Lighthouse Point property reopens today, a year after it closed, about 40 persons returning to work initially. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper. On the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management, no systems in the area, mostly sunny, highs from the low to mid-80s, 81 at Freeport, 84 in the capital, 84 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds generally 10 to 15 knots, the seas 2 to 4 feet, high tide now, the next low around noon. Turning partly cloudy tonight, lows from the low to upper 70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call insurance management. They offer a wide range of insurance products. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than insurance management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Let's get the weekend started. The weekend, published every Friday in the Tribune, has the hottest news in fashion, music tips, the who's who on the red carpet, your must-try restaurants and hotspots, and of course, what to wear when you step out. Catch up on the latest film reviews or be thrilled with exciting tales from Bahamian history. There's only one place to find everything you need to plan your perfect weekend in Friday's Tribune. Pick up your copy of the weekend every Friday. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Thursday's World News headlines. Corona vaccination rollout continues around the world, but the coronavirus hasn't gone away yet. Europe continues to grapple with the new spread there, especially in Germany. And Brazil has now passed 300,000 deaths from the virus, record numbers being reported there this week. Meantime, AstraZeneca vaccine officials have cleared up the controversy over the effectiveness of that product. Egyptian government officials are trying to figure out how to clear a huge container ship that ran aground in the Suez Canal somehow, and it's blocking the channel. And that is impacting world trade in a major way. Tribune's gas tracker prices for Thursday, Shell 481, SO457, Rubus $4.74 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Both Buddy Heal and DeAndre Ayton in action in the NBA last night. Heal with 14 points and a home win over Atlanta. Aiden with 21 points and 9 rebounds in Orlando, but the Suns lost by a point. We could soon have another NBA player find out who has declared for the next NBA draft. 
more results of the Red Line Track and Field Classic, and get the latest on Major League Baseball's spring training teams preparing for the April 1st opening day. The Olympic torch relay is underway in Japan. Read the details in the Tribune Sports Thursday. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.